Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial on 3D Redbox channel. My name is Mehdi and today we want to talk about how to texture this model inside Painter. But before that, let me introduce you the brand new course that we release for Substance Painter. Learning Substance Painter is easier than ever. Hey all Substance lovers, texturing seekers and awesome future artists. Welcome to ultimate course for learning Substance Painter from zero to hero. Ready to learn how to texture with different projects, Substance Master released a brand new course for those who want to learn to texture with Substance Painter. In this course, we cover from preparing the model to rendering different projects, different challenges. If you want to level up your skill in texturing, come and check the Substance Master Ultimate course for learning Substance Painter. Okay, before jumping to the texturing part, I need to explain something. In this model, we have different small pieces. So if we want to pack everything in one single UV space, it's not going to work for us because the texture quality at the end drops a lot. So I prefer to use overlapping technique. So basically, I choose some elements on the model, as you can see, and make the unwrap for these parts. Okay, so this is the UV layout that I create for this model. And after that, I just duplicate the pieces in the way that I want and I reach to this model and if I go to the U editor of this model you can see we have the shapes that we want in the main UV tile and in the overlap part we have the others and they are going to read the data from the main tile okay so for baking and creating the mesh maps inside the painter we need to bake this model and after that we can load this one okay so let's go to the painter and inside the painter I'm going to load the model that we prepare for the baking phase everything here is okay so let's press okay here okay and we jump to the baking mode change the output size to 4k and change the anti-lazing to 64x and we don't have any kind of high poly here so we can just check this and we are done and we can click on the bake selected texture and wait for the baking process done. Okay, the baking mesh maps is done and right now we have all the mesh maps that we need and we can change the model with a simple drag and drop. Okay, just press OK and as you can see everything is done and worked perfectly. That's great. And it's time to create different folders for different sections of the model. I have two different wood material, one for big pieces and one for smallest one and the other one is the steel part okay for here and these connections so i'm going to create the folder and create the mask and after that we create the wood surface and the steel part okay now the masking part is done as you can see we have the folder related to wood big pieces and we have the folder related to wood small pieces and we have the steel part too and for wood pieces i'm going to use a smart material from this collection that you can find the link for this collection inside the description right now i'm going to load the smart material into the folder so if i bring my uh, asset window you can see we have different smart material and we can look at the thumbnail and choose the wood that we want i think the number 15 is a great wood for starting yeah and we need to go to the layers turn off all the layers and just tweak a little this is smart material to fit in our project so let's start with the first layer this is the base and we can increase the quality inside the viewport with going to the texture set setting and increase the size from 1k to 2k okay that's it okay let's go to the base okay that's great i think the only problem here is uh the rotation so we can change the rotation and that's it and i'm going to add a fill here and just keep the roughness and yeah i think this kind of roughness is good for the base layer because we are going to add a lot of dirt layer so basically this fill layer can control the roughness for us okay that's great let's go for the next layer and in the next layer we have uh, these details uh, the wood fibers so let's go to the pattern i'm going to decrease the tiling from four to three maybe give rotation like 90 and we can play with the amount increase the length maybe a little thickness and put the random as high to something like this and play with the warp option here okay that's great right now we have a great wood fiber here and that's great let's go to the next layer okay and uh, for the next layer we can go to the mask and we can update the generic 
monitor here and yeah this is good and enough for me for the edge wear because we just want to add some whiteness on the edges and in the overall shape so we can again go to the curvature and control the global balance okay right now we have a good mask for that and let's talk about the wood line we need to change the rotation for the mask so let's go to the mask and in here we need to go to the wood pattern change the projection to uv projection okay increase the tiling to something like two increase the thickness maybe this one is good increase the randomized height or length and yeah this one is great so let's go back to the layer itself and i'm going to increase the height amount to have more depth on this one something like negative 15 is good that's great at the end we are going to add ambient occlusion so these are going to be more darkened and we can do it right now okay let's add a paint layer here i'm going to call it effect change the blending mode to pass through and apply it to all channel and right now i'm going to add a filter and add the ao and we need to turn on the ao for our project so let's go to the texture set setting add the ambient occlusion channel here okay that's great and in here we just need to keep the ao and we can play with the high depth like this that's great and this is the power of the ambient occlusion so we just increase the visual look quality for our depth in the normal and the high and we can add another filter here okay high to normal which help me to increase the normal intensity because i'm not going to use the displacement or height when i export the texture from substance painter so i need to some parameter to control the normal intensity to achieve the better look okay so in the height to normal filter we need to turn off the use word units and in here i can play with the normal intensity and i think two is enough okay so yeah let's go back to the wood line here i think uh it's good and enough so let's go for the huge damage layer okay so uh for this layer i'm going to remove both of uh this sub layer and add another fill layer and use a grunge like leaks yeah this one is great and i'm going to increase tiling to three and change the rotation that's great we can play with the offset and i think this place is good okay so let's go back to the material mode as as you can see we have a great result after after adding the grunge inside the mask for huge damage we can increase or decrease the opacity for this layer yeah i think this is good maybe 80 is much better yeah let's go for the edge damage and i don't need this because we don't have actually edge on this wood so we can just remove that and for spot damage again we can delete this one because we don't need this okay and uh, for the z position okay yeah we need this but we need to decrease the opacity of the color to something like 30 this one that's great as you can see we have the variation darker variation of the color in here okay let's go for the dirt and i'm going to change the generator to the dirt okay that's great and we can decrease the dirt level or maybe we can increase the amount to something like this yeah that's great okay right now we have a good result but i'm going to turn on the dirt number two and in here i don't need to have this generator so i can and delete that and for this grunge map i'm going to increase the tiling amount and decrease the balance okay that's great so we have this dark spot on the color as you can see and we can control the amount of that balance okay that's great and we can add something like blur like directional blur okay this one and we have this kind of effect on the color that's great okay i don't have this to layer here so i'm going to delete that but i want to add another feeling layer to this wood material and make the surface more interesting okay because it's old wood we use it a lot and the environmental force make the surface color more darker okay so uh i'm going to add another layer let's call it dark area and let's keep just color and the roughness okay so for the roughness let's put it on 0.8 and for the color let's pick the dark one and in here i'm going to decrease the opacity to something like for example 60 or we can change it to 55 okay and let's add a black mask basically i want to create a interesting mask for this part so let's add a fill layer and in the leak search we can choose this grunge leaky paint like this and we can play with the balance okay let's see what we have here and right now i want to define two gradient from bottom to top and top to bottom okay to control the area that this mask should be appearing 
here over that. So let's create a generator here and use 3D linear gradient. Okay, so we have this one. So this is the area that mask is going to be showed up. And I'm going to duplicate this one, press on invert, play with the balance. Okay, and this, this is fine. So let's put this two in here, change the blending mode to linear dodge to create this combination. I'm going to use an anchor point and let's call it gradient mask. Let's add a fill layer and load this gradient mask here. Okay, and right now we can multiply this grunge mask to this area and we can control this area separately. Very easy. Okay, like this. And maybe we can increase the uh, contrast in here again yeah like this one and we can add a paint and change the blending mode of this paint layer to linear dodge or adding the detail and data that we create in this paint layer to what we have before that let's go to the asset window and choose one brushes like this paint box and i'm going to start painting in here to create more variation for this layer like this okay we can increase the color intensity and adding more detail here this great okay that's great so we create the interesting point on the surface and right now we need to create a bunch of layers for simulating the damage area but before that I'm going to duplicate this material and put it in small pieces okay and in the small pieces I don't want to have any kind of dark area so I just remove that and let's go to the base because I want to define the color the new color for the material okay and I'm going to pick some color from the reference for this that's great so we just duplicate the material that we create for the main part and with a small tweak in the color we create a material variation for a small piece okay that's great so let's go back here and let's just create wood damage layer so i'm going to create a new fill layer let's call it under wood here let's load a material the wood plane like this okay because i don't want to receive anything from the height and the normal normal or color roughness and metallic from the layer that we have the blue of this layer we need to change the blending mode of each channel of this layer to the normal so let's apply to all channel and turn on all the channels that we have okay that's great and now it's time to play with the parameter that we have in here i think we can increase the tiling to three we can decrease the global distortion maybe wood color should be changed to some this okay and for the veins density i'm going to decrease it yeah increase the vein color fade so we just fade the colors that we have here and i'm going to decrease the fibers spread to the lower value and yeah i think i create a great under layer wood surface for this object and now it's time to add a black mask that's great so in the mask i'm going to use a paint layer to paint some area for example in here but there is no surface height difference so we can go back to the layer add a sub layer keep the height and give the negative height i think around negative 0.1 is good and it's enough yeah and let's add an anchor point here and i'm going to create another layer order effect and let's add a black mask add a fill load the underwood layer mask duplicate it change the blending mode to subtract add a filter here choose the blur and increase the blur okay so uh this is the border effect and for the border effect i'm going to increase the height to something like this or maybe we can go for the lower value for the roughness let's choose one we don't need to have the metallic normal AO just color height and rough for the color let's pick the pure white and change the blending mode to soft light okay that's great so we create the damage like this and the damage has the border effect this one great so let's go back to the mask and just remove everything here and let's go choose a better brush like this one I'm going to increase Increase the white value for the brush okay and let's paint damage to be more like this okay and we can use some stencil for helping to achieve more realistic result but right now it's enough for me and i just want to add some minor damage like this one okay let's add another one here and that's fine okay so it's okay for now you can give more time to add the more realistic paint for this layer and achieve better result inside the damage effect okay 
but right now we are done with the wood that's great as you can see we have a great result and we can go back here and add another fill layer just keep the roughness i'm going to make it as a roughness variation okay let's add a black mask go here add fill and add something like fingerprint effect and increase styling to something this way and we can play with the roughness value yeah it's much better we can play with the balance contrast or we can invert it okay this one is much better and that's it we just create roughness variation and that's fine okay let's go for the steel and for the steel i'm going to use a default smart material that comes with the substance painter and the name of the smart material is the silver armor okay but it's not good that uh we have this grungy wood surface with a clean steel or the silver surface so i'm going to create a fill layer and i'm going to call it dirt and just keep the color roughness and the metallic because the dirt is not a metal surface so let's bring up the roughness value to something like 0.8 and change the color to something like this gray and i'm going to add the black mask and the dirt generator this and we can control the dirt level to achieve the result that we want okay that's it so we just create the material for this is tool and that's it and at the end i hope you learned something new in this video and if you like this video please hit the like button share your mind and thought in the comment section and if you want to access the project file of this tutorial you can join to our patreon channel and the link of that is in the description so just read the description every detail that you need is over there and be safe be creative bye